What's going on, YouTube? Mike O back with another TTM recap episode. Got four baseball returns to share with you today. Should be a fun one here. These uh, mostly took quite a while to come in, and uh, one that uh, was a failure about two weeks ago is now a success. So let's go ahead and get started. First one here today is a two of two success coming back in 236 days. This is coming from Oakland Athletics catcher Stephen Vogt. So really happy to get these back. He's a really good signer. I've gotten them before. Signed a pair of 2016 tops for me. The first one being a tops opening day. So happy to have that back in blue. And he also signed a 2016 Topps Update All-Star Game card. That one looks a little better. As you can see, the uh, blue just stands out a little bit more, um, being a brighter card. So very nice additions to the TTM Autograph Collection. Next up, we have one coming in from last season. This is was sent to the Milwaukee Brewers. It's a one-of-one one success, returned in 288 days from Jeremy Jeffress. So a nice return there from a Brewer. Very happy to get that back. Um, love the 2016 Topps cards. They're definitely awesome for autographs. Uh, as you can see numbers-wise, uh, Jeffress had a few really good years in the big leagues. So uh, very nice to get him back. I remember he was signing pretty well last year at one point. Sent to him, never heard back, but now I have. All right, next one is a spring training return. This is coming back from Tyson Ross, who's been a really good signer over the years. Uh, he only signed one of three, and it was a 78-day return. Signed this Tops card here. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, got a little smudge, which is unfortunate. He did not sign the Heritage, which would have been nice, or the 2017 Tops, which would have been uh, really cool as well, but that's okay. Um, I have gotten Tyson Ross before I got him on an Allen and Ginter a couple years ago. Uh, like I said, Ross was always a really good signer. And the final return from today is coming back from a Hall of Famer. I sent to him a while ago. I uh, got a failure back uh, about two weeks ago or so. And uh, it was because I sent a check as my donation. He only accepts cash. So finally got a return in from Mr. Jim Rice. Two of two success, 10 days. Donation is required. Signed a pair of Allen & Ginter cards for me. First up, the 2013 Allen & Ginter, signed in blue. Really like 2013 Ginters. And he also signed the 2016 Ginter, which I love as well. Signed it nicely in blue, so really happy to add these to the Allen & Ginter collection. They are future slab cards, which uh, will be excellent. Uh, love getting the Ginter slabbed, and especially anytime I can get Hall of Famers. So guys, that is it for the TTMs today. Check out the uh, channel. Got a lot of content up there. Um, just did a live mail day kind of opening. It was mail that collected for about a week. I'll probably put together a few other videos showing off some of the highlights of that for the people who do not want to watch a 40-minute video. But some people do like the long videos. It's definitely a cool time when you're uh, interacting live. So uh, be on the lookout for all that stuff. Check out the vlog channel for my trip to Trenton. Uh, posted a video there, so a lot of stuff going on, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys taking a moment to watch. Comment below, let me know what you think of the successes. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.